Today we're going to talk about the pilot episode of Box with the Rock. I've heard from certain anime circles that this anime is going to be a K-On rip-off. Before we get to that, let's get to the thumbnail first. Well, this is a, this is the final scene of the pilot, wherein Hitori, our main protagonist, is um making her way home after her very first public performance. Because she's always had this goal of uh, either joining or forming her own band. But the former, uh, well, she experienced the former. Pero, it was so so, just like, no, hindi pa yun ang rating ko ha. And, um, by the way, she looked here in the final scene, she was relieved that, yeah, it's practically all over for, for tonight. I don't, know if you call, I don't know if you can call that public, but let me explain later, okay? So let's get down to the nitty gritty of the episode. Base! Judging from uh, from the pilot, we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna be watching a slice of life anime. Kasi yung pacing niya pang slice of life, if Robert took its cues from K on, I I gotta admit, guys, I had those K on feels when I was watching this. Uh, while I was watching the pilot, kasi yung pacing niya at yung pasundot sundot na na the humor element, it totally took me back to the days of K on. Ganitong ganito ang pacing ng classic na anime na yun. We all know that K-On! is one of the greatest slice of life animes ever. So, it wouldn't be right for a newbie like Boxy the Rock if, they, if they're not going to take uh, at least a handful of cues from this classic. From, from an OG slice of life anime. Mabasta? The pacing is so K-On! But I wouldn't say that this is a K1 ripoff. Right? As you go along the review, you you're gonna realize. Uh, you're gonna realize uh, you're gonna realize otherwise. Flow naman. First gear shift here was when Nijika uh, met Hitori for the first time. Dahil nilayasan sila ng kanilang, ng kanilang guitarista. And they're looking for a replacement. Katong, ayun nga, nagmumukmuk si Hitori sa isang playground. Nakita siya ni Mijika. Mijika, by the way, is the drummer of the band. And her sister manages the club in which they uh, in which they perform. It's a no-brainer of a gear shift, folks. Kasi, this now set up the chain of events uh, that, that happened and may happen during the course of this anime. Say, uh, if you will, if you will watch this episode, talagang certified introvert si si Hitori, and uh, she has this dream of becoming a uh, becoming a huge rock and roll star. The guitar riffs that uh, that I've heard in this anime re reminded me a lot of Jennifer Batten, yung guitarist dating guitarista ni Michael Jackson. Going back to this gear shift, it set off the chain of events that eventually. Uh, led Nijika and Ryo, the bassist, to, to reassure Hitori that this, this is just her first day in the band. She may, her, her sound might suck, but there's always a next time. There's always a tomorrow. Bottom line, this gear shift tells us that oh, Hitori has found uh, a set of friends she can rely on who shares her interests and passions kasi pareparo sila musikero eh. All three of them are, music are musicians, they're in the band. A great setup for the dynamic between these three. Itong, itong gear shift ito, kaya nga, kaya nga gear shift eh. It, it's how a gear shift functions in an anime, guys. Second gear shift was when... <coughs> Bwe, probably the funniest moment in this episode. Hitori um, hides herself in a trash can. 
Nung sinabi ni ni Chika na her playing socks biglang naghalat ang pinakamalapit na basurahan doon sa nagdago. It's an obvious gear shift. Bakit? Kasi well, Hitri has shown here how much of an introvert she is. It can be a problem kasi uh, nakasali na siya sa isang banda and uh, and it's just her first day in the band. So, for her, there's no room for error which should not be the mindset. Relatability is what makes is uh, one of the one of the many things that make a gear shift. Well, in terms of relatability, yep, this can be a gear shift. Because hey, it can even happen to the best of us. No matter how good you are at playing an instrument, if you have uh, if you have this much stage fright or um, you tend to overthink things. Because it's your first time to to be in a band, can cause a problem. <laughs> that's that's the reason why I called this one a gear shift. Final gear shift was Hitri's actual first public performance with the band. I don't want to say it's a public performance, because while, while she was playing uh, her guitar parts. Nandun siya sa, sa loob ng isang kahon. <laughs> yung, yung tipong, it's a cardboard box that's big enough to, big enough for, uh, for a human to fit in. Ganong katindi ang stage fright in this episode ni, ni Hitori. It's a relatable gearship just like the second. Kasi, stage fright can, 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 can have extreme cases. This one, yep, definitely an extreme case. Is this, this the first time I've seen, whether in real life or in, or in an anime, that a guitar player has encased herself or himself in a box before she could play? <laughs> Which is both funny and concerning. Pwede. Kasi ganito ka yung stage fright niya. And I told you guys, it's another relatable gear shift. Kaya nga gear shift eh. If you relate to a particular scene in an anime, that's a gear shift. So these three gear shifts that I saw, we can say that it totally set us up for the anime. If not for the, uh, if not for this episode alone, huh? Okay. But the way I see it. These three gears is totally set us up for this anime. So, we're gonna sign up things to come. Blood lines! Malinis, guys. I'll explain. There are scenes here na medyo nag-deviate sa flow ng uh, nag-deviate sa... Akala nyo mag-deviate sa plot ng episode? No! These are truly parts of the episode itself. It may look like uh, flashback sequences to you, pero the story of the episode actually began during Hitori's childhood. So I could not call that a backstory. Doon lang kung pisa mismo yung episode eh. So, uh, a few scenes later, eto na si Hitori. Uh, while uh, while watching uh, one of her favorite bands being interviewed, she had to perform. That inspired her to take up the guitar as a means of escaping her anxieties, uh, her shyness. Yup, definitely. You can say that the opening sequences of this episode can be explainer sequences. Wede. But you cannot call them backstories. Dahil doon mismo nag-umpisa ang episode na to. The origin of uh, of the main character's anxieties. Merong pinaghuhugutan talaga si Hitori. Leading up to that leading up to that final gear she were in, she was playing the guitar while inside a box. <laughs> Alright. Probably one of the weirdest on-stage performances I've seen, whether it be in anime or in live action. 
It's one of the weirdness. Okay? But it's both funny and concerning. Again, I'm telling you guys. Kaya, look, you only need a clean plot to, um, to at least make me realize all these things. Alright? Well, but we can, I can also say to you guys that, yeah, may deep dive factor on episode na to. So, well, only a clean plot can accomplish that, can, can pull that off in you. So, base, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. We can say now that, nope, this is not a K-On ripoff. Although, um, some scenes took its cues from that from that classic anime. At saka, well, um, special mention yung OP and PP. It rocks. It rocks. Hence the title, Boxy the Rock. So, Boxy the Rock, episode 1. Yes, sir. Yeah. Two thumbs up. Ito na ang parting shot ko for this review, guys. If you haven't seen K-On! Uh, haven't seen a single episode of it, good. Watch this anime first. But, if you're a long-time anime fan like me, detach yourself from, uh, from the mystique known as K-On! for a while if you watch this anime. Kasi, well, I gotta tell you guys, the comparison is un unavoidable. Dahil ang genre niya, school and musical, okay? and slice of life, the three genres that K on is in. So it's okay to compare it to K on, pero iba yung ano nito eh. Hindi siya totally na school anime, right? Yung uh, ve usual venues ng interactions sa mga characters is in a club. Okay? So, talagang, it's, this, this is a full, this is a full-fledged rock band kasi, okay, tumututug na sa, sa mga bar to eh. And, they just took in uh, an introverted high school kid to replace their, to, to, to be their new, their new guitar player, si Hitori. And yeah, they have to settle those issues in her so that she can fully function as their lead guitarist. Hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng may uh, stage fight pag may lead guitar ka. Mawawala, mawawala ka sa nota, mawawala ka sa... You won't be able to interact with the audience. So, yun yung uh, psychological dynamic ng, uh, ng anime na to. Which, totally sets itself apart from K-On! Ang K-On, walang ganitong ano eh. Walang ganitong issues. Right? It's, they're just four hyped up girls just wanna, just wanna share wanna share their music with the entire world. Kaya dito, talagang mukhang may, may, yeah, may issues talaga si Hitori that the rest of the band need to need to, uh, need to help solve. That will set Box to the Rock uh, apart from their uh, uh, from the OG which is K-On! So again Boats in the Rock Episode 1 